morning, everyone. It's Thursday of the 26th week. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Now, today's gospel, is certainly it certainly could be written today because it says the laborers are few. We know that just about every profession, every occupation, there's just not enough laborers. So as we begin, let's think about the things we do, how parents labor each and every day for their children. We were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Nehemiah. The whole people gathered as one in the open space before the water gate, and they called upon Ezra the scribe to bring forth the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord prescribed for Israel. On the first day of the seventh month, therefore, Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from daybreak until midday, in the presence of the men, the women, and those children old enough to understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any of the people. And as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. As the people remained in their places, Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it so that all could understand what was read. The Nehemiah, that is, his excellency and Ezra the priest scribe and the Levites who were instructing the people said to all the people, today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep for all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks and allot portions to those who had nothing prepared, for today is holy to our Lord. Do not be saddened this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. And the Levites quieted all the people, saying, hush, for today is holy, and you must not be saddened. Then all the people went to eat and drink, to distribute portions, and to celebrate with great joy, for they understood the words that had been expounded to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts, precepts of, of the Lord, Lord give joy, joy to the, the heart. heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The precepts, the precepts of, of the Lord, Lord give joy, joy to, to the heart. heart. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The, the precepts, precepts of the Lord give, give joy, joy to the, the heart. heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The, the precepts, precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. heart. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The, the precepts, precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, Cure the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, 
go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand, I tell you. It will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning, everyone. So Jesus is sending out 72 other disciples in pairs to kind of prepare the way for his visit to a, and his journey and his mission. What does he tell them to say? He tells them how to do it, what to carry, all those things. He tells them to preach that the kingdom of God is at hand. So what does that mean? What does that mean to them? What does that mean to us? I think it means to show what Jesus did. Peaceful, love, mercy, forgiveness, and charity. Cure the sick, heal people. Do all those things to a town that accepts you. And for one that doesn't, well, they don't accept what you have. And I think Jesus telling, in, you know, forming those other 72 disciples, he's telling us that same message today. I think we need to go out and share our faith. What is our faith? Our faith is the teaching and journey and mission of Christ. He died for our sins. He showed us forgiveness. He showed us mercy. He showed us love. I think that's when he says the kingdom of God is at hand. That's what we need. That's what we need to think about. The kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? It's about love. It's about mercy. It's about forgiveness. It's about eternal life those things that we need to share. So I'd ask you to reflect upon Jesus' mission today, reflect upon his love and his mercy and his forgiveness, and know that it'll always be with you. And then I ask you today to share that with someone by word or by deed, to share it with someone and offer your faith to them, as Jesus told us. God bless my brothers and sisters. For our petitions, for our church, May it always be a community of love, mercy, and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all people, may they contribute to society based upon their God-given gifts and talents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For any broken relationships with our brothers and sisters, may God grant us the graces needed to repair them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick, the hungry, and the lonely, may they experience God's love and mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, loving God, may we continue to be bearers of good news of your love for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered in your name, count the gifts as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion. We ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of merit may also help us to attain a merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with you your spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. Father, love is our origin. Love is our constant calling. Love is truly our fulfillment in heaven. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember James Sable and Chet Simcoe, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant yes. us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourish by your saving gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by the same sacrament which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.